Hello everyone and welcome to UPSC Daily with Nimish. Today we are continuing again with our 400 important topics and we are going to cover topics number 91 to 100 and the topics are from science and technology. This is the video number 10th in the series of 400 important topics for prelims 2024. Well, the first topic for today, the topic number 91 is Gaganyaan mission. Uh, so much in news that the government is preparing for the first manned mission, ISRO is preparing for the same and recently four of the astronauts have also their names been declared and shown on media. Well, what is Gaganyaan mission? It is the first manned flights to space by India. The project was first approved by PM in August on August 15, 2018. Uh, it will send three member crew to space for at least seven days by 2022. It was originally planned. Now it has been postponed. Most likely it will happen next year. Uh, ISRO hopes to deploy its biggest rocket GSLV Mark III or LMV-3 for this project. Uh, it would be one of the cheapest manned space flights in the world, uh, space flight in the world, with the estimated cost of not more than uh, rupees ten thousand crore. India plans to call it astronauts uh, Vyomnauts, since Vyom in Sanskrit means space. The space agency ho hopes to launch the first mission within forty months. So basically, this was initially planned, but it has because of COVID, the project got delayed. India will become the fourth country after Russia, US, and China to send humans to space. So what are the different ob objectives as I told you are three crew members in, uh, including a women as of now women won't be there into low earth orbit. Okay and demonstrate the capability to send humans in the space by India and it will develop and test the technology required for human space flight. Uh, LVM3 uh, is the launch vehicle orbiter module consists of crew module so two mod crew module it will be there and other will be service module SM which will be powered by two liquid propellant engines trial three flights already have been sent and Satish Dhawan uh, space center Harikota Shri Harikota is where the launch will take place it will circle earth at low earth orbit at an altitude of 300 to 400 km from earth for five to seven days collaboration is with Russia's Roscosmos State Corporation for Space Activities. France CNES is also a partner in the mission. Once, what is the significance of the missions? Once accomplished, India will become the fourth country as I've just told you. So two of the modules which I've told you are cream, crew module and service module. Crew module is where the crew will stay. So apex ring with scope for future docking mechanism setup is there. Apex cover containing stored parachutes is there. Uh, at the time of landing recovery hatch door with a viewport is there boat tail covered in medium density ablative tiles heat shield is there uh, heat shield to keep shield of heat from the engine to the crew module so in service module we have umbilical connection and severance system folded solar panels radiators a 7.7 meters tall person for height reference is just given here to just give you the height reference so it's not a part of service module okay don't get mistaken it is just given as a reference point for you to get how long is the service module and crew module there's a propulsion bay and five liquid engines for in orbit maneuvering so these are the crew module important and service module in the Gaganyaan mission so this is very important topic for uh, UPSC problems this year a 92nd topic is the Airbus C-295. Well, uh, now Airbus and India are going to jointly produce. So Tata and Airbus are going to jointly produce this in India. This is a transport aircraft, so which has a 5 to 10 ton capacity. So C-295 is a trans transport aircraft. 50 number of total personnel or paratroopers uh, can be transported. The length of the cabin in the C20, C295 making it the longest unobstructed cabin in its class. The maximum speed of C295 is 480 km. So this now will be indigenously or in India indigenously developed. Not with the entire technology of phone of course with the knowledge sharing or the technology transfer is happening along with the joint venture with Airbus. Ransomware. Uh, often in news because of multiple reasons because of a lot of ransomware attacks 
so the cert insert in which is the computer emergency response team india had issued alert for ransomware akira well the ransomware is a malware designed to deny a user or organization access to files on their own computer so if it attacks you cannot accept uh, access the files as they become encrypted and you only need a key to decrypt the files and get access back that is what the ransom where does and by encrypting these files and demanding a ransom payment for the de decryption key cyber attackers place organizations and individuals in position where paying the ransom is the easiest and cheapest way to regain access to their files some variants have added additional functionality such as data theft to provide further incentive for ransomware victims to pay the ransom ransomware has quickly become the most prominent and visible type of malware Okay, the next is the LK99 superconductor it was a lot in news after two uh, papers which were published in South Korea indicated a room temperature superconductor. So the new two papers which are uploaded on internet by researchers from South Korea state the creation of material known as LK99. Uh, lately it has been disproven but a lot of news was there. LK99 the new superconductor can be synthesized through baking and that is what they have told. Baking process that involves combining the minerals lanarkite and copper phosphide. The resulting material exhibits two essential characteristics of superconductivity even at normal air pressure and temperatures as high as 127 degrees Celsius. So LK99 was a superconductor in news even though no confirmation till now has been made on the effectiveness of the same. Small module reactors. SMR. So this has been used because of the low pace of uh, uh, you know the nuclear power plants getting established. So as you know the large and conventional reactor are 700 plus megawatt. Uh, the small module reactors are up to so they are up to 300 uh, megawatt electricity they produce and there are micro reactors which produce up to 10 megawatt. Well the rise in coal consumption despite increased solar and wind power underlines need for low carbon electricity resources such as small modular reactors to ensure deep carbonization. While conventional nuclear power plants like the large ones have generally suffered from time and cost right take too much time then plants are not getting established so uh, and cost overruns are there as an alternative several countries are developing small modular reactors nuclear reactors with a maximum capacity of 300 megawatt to complement conventional nuclear plants. So India is also discovering the same and this is one of the uh, discussions which have taken place in the field of science and tech this year especially in the nuclear technology and renewable technology. Havana syndrome was in news because uh, it was been noted in uh, various uh, uh, diplomats across the world that they are suffering they in certain situations with the uh, the nausea uh, you know headache insomnia so what is Havana syndrome the, it has no definitive cause has been found but scientific studies have noted that many acute symptoms are consistent with exposure to directed radio frequency energy so acute symptoms often occurring may include pain in one or both ears tinnitus hearing loss intense pressure or vibration inside the head difficulty with memory or concentration Nausea, visual disturbances, unsteady gait, loss of balance, vertigo, dizziness. So chronic symptoms can include uh, headache, insomnia, depression, impaired balance, impaired concentration, memory loss for a longer period. So a lot of diplomats across the world had pointed out uh, because the, why Havana syndrome? It was first time pointed out in uh, Cuba, in Havana, which is the capital of uh, Cuba. And uh, Cubans were accused of using it against Americans where they use. So uh, this is the reason why it is known as Havana syndrome. Well, the next is Luna 25, which was in news, which is which was a failed mission of Russia. So it was also a mission which wanted to land the uh, the lander on southern uh, pole of moon just two days before the landing of uh, the landing of Vikram lander but the problem is that it failed so Chandrayaan 3 became the first lander to ever land on 
moon self port so on august 11 roscosmos the russian space agency launched its luna 25 spacecraft on board a soyuz 2 rocket luna 25 consisted of a lander and its mission was to soft land near the moon south pole and there's the study and they study the optical physical and chemical properties of moon dust and moon soil and the atmosphere but it crashed on august 20 Chand- uh, so you can compare chandrayaan 3 with luna 25 here but remember one thing that luna 25 failed it never landed gid uh, often in news is a global initiative on digital health well uh, you know it was recently achieving one of the three priority areas agreed upon during india's g20 presidency world health organization has recently launched it it is world health organized managed network aiming to amplify and align resources towards country led digital health transformation through strengthened collaboration and knowledge exchange it is a platform for sharing knowledge and digital products among countries and the initiative aims to achieve the following objectives through collaborative efforts so basically to come together to share the information across various countries okay aditya l1 mission uh, and a mission isro mission targeted aditya in hindi the meaning is sun it is not mission to the moon but for study of the moon okay aditya l1 solar mission it is the first space based observatory class mission to unlock the mysteries of the sun it was launched on september 2 uh, 11:50 am distance 1.5 million kilometer from earth about four times farther than the moon the total travel time so basically l1 is the langrage point langrage point uh, where the uh, aditya l1 solar mission will be stationed and keeping an eye on the moon so it is 1.5 million million kilometer from earth l1 point destination langrage point 1 one, uh, one of the five positions where objects once sent tend to stay put at a langrage point gravitational pull of two larger masses precisely equals the centripetal force required for a small object to move with them so l1 point affords uninterrupted view of sun is currently home to soho satellite route is after existing earth's gravitational sphere of influence spacecraft will enter cruise phase with subsequently be injected into large halo orbit around l1 so this is how the insertion will has taken place the spacecraft which has been launched on pslv xl rocket so it was launched on pslv xl remember that okay so the idea is to study the observe the photosphere chromosphere and outermost layer of sun using electromagnetic and particle and magnetic field detectors this is the function of aditya l1 it is already in langrage point 1 and studying the sun uh, on all those areas the final topic is the uh, super blue moon which was in news so with respect to that we'll look at various kinds of super moons or uh, different types of moons super moon is 30% larger than regular full moons they look like up to 30% larger they happen when the moon is both full and is also orbiting within 90% of perigee blood moon is occurs during a total lunar ecl- eclipse when earth is between moon and sun during this time the new uh, the moon is lit only by the edges of the earth atmosphere which scatters blue but not red light super flower blood moon so there are different types do you read that ring of fire eclipse micro moon blue moon harvest moon cold moon blue moon is the second full moon in month so uh, full moons occur 29 days apart as you know there are certain months with 30 31 days but when within a month two uh, full moons occur uh, that is known as blue moon usually at the time of blue moon So this was it with respect to the topics 91 to 100 with respect to science and tech if you want to download this document to visit our telegram channel which is uh, day, uh, UPSC daily by Nimesh okay and uh, would recommend you to subscribe the channel to continue watching this series this is the 10th video and we are into a 40 video series for this year's UPSC prelims thank you and all the best and see you in the next video